In this video, I'm going to go over a quick summary of differences between the internal growth rate and the sustainable growth rate. And the reason why I wanted to add this video on to the previous examples is because many times a question will not directly ask you to find either one of these rates. They'll give you other information and you have to know, depending on that information given, whether you're actually finding the internal growth rate and the sustainable growth rate. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what to specifically look for and questions for you to know which rate to use. Now, the first quick difference I'll point out is the difference in the formulas. Now, looking at them, they look, the format looks almost the same. The only difference is that the internal growth rate is using the return on assets, while the sustainable growth rate is using the return on equity. And the definition we've already went over, but I'll write it again. So the internal growth rate is basically the growth a firm can maintain with no external financing. And in questions, what you want to look for is this right here, this no external financing portion. Whenever they say that, then you know pretty much that you're dealing with the internal growth rate because no external financing means that you can't take on any additional debt and you can't take on any additional equity. The equity, any increase in equity has to come from retain earnings. So look specifically for this phrase here, no external financing. When you see that in a question, you're dealing with the internal growth rate. Similarly, the sustainable growth rate, the definition is the growth a firm can maintain with a constant debt to equity ratio and no external equity issue. So very similar to the internal growth rate, but little differences. So in terms of the equity, it's the same. We can't take on any external equity in both the internal growth rate and the sustainable growth rate. The increase in equity has to come from that increase in retained earnings. However, when we're dealing with the sustainable growth rate, we can take on more debt, which we can't do here because debt is a form of external financing. We could take on more debt as long as we're maintaining a constant debt to equity ratio. And we've done examples showing that. So the phrase that you wanna look for that will trigger you knowing that you're using the sustainable growth rate is this constant debt to equity ratio. So whenever you see that in a question, constant debt to equity ratio, then you know you're dealing with the sustainable growth rate because that means that we can take on more debt as long as it doesn't pass a certain capacity relative to equity versus with the internal growth rate, we can't take on any external debt or equity. The, any increase in financing has to come from equity and the increase has to be in retained earnings. So be careful with the differences. A lot of times questions won't tell you directly to solve for the internal growth rate or the sustainable growth rate, you're gonna to have to know by looking at the information you're given. So if you see this phrase, constant debt to equity ratio, you can be pretty sure you're finding the sustainable growth rate. If you see no external financing, you can be pretty sure you're finding the internal growth rate. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.